the aroma of fresh brewed coffee, crisp dew on a rose petal, a kind stranger's smile, toast, earth, hazelnut, soft playful flute sounds, la vie rose by Edith Piaf, the strokes of Vincent van Gogh. Oh, what is beauty but terror? Birthday cake. On the morning of your 10th birthday, your mom will gift you a cherry red bikini. You'll be excited. You've never been allowed to wear a bikini before. At around noon, your friends will begin to arrive. Isabella will turn up in her usual pigtail and bows, which you will find ridiculous given that it's a swim party. Isaac will come with a homemade card for you in hand, and the others will try to wrestle their way out of their parents as they escape from their final attempt to smear them head to toe in sunscreen. You will swim for about two hours, playing everything from colors to Marco Polo. When your dad begins to hang up a radiant four foot tall minion pinata, you will regret not going into the market with your parents to pick it out yourself. You will get out of the pool, dry off, and join the growing circle around your dulce de leche cake. The air will vibrate with the familiar tune of Las Mañanitas. You will make a wish, blow the candles, and wait to get your peace. As always, you'll be enamored by the decadent caramel ribbon in between the moist crumbles. When you reach for a second piece, your mom will pull you aside. She'll tell you that your new bikini is already looking tight on you, and that if you want to wear pretty clothes like that, you cannot have a second slice. She reminds you that nobody likes fat girls. You never really thought about the size of your body before that, but suddenly, all you can focus on is the rolls that fold throughout your belly when you sit down. You don't eat the second piece of cake. What does slut mean? Two years later, you'll reach middle school and your parents will finally let you make an Instagram account. Whatever you do, don't post that picture of you and your friend at a gymnastics competition. If you do post a picture, don't freak out when the boys in your class start commenting a word you don't recognize. Ask one of your older teammates. She will probably know what it means. On the car ride home from practice, your lips will quiver and you'll struggle to hold in your tears. They'll sting in even harder unreleased. When you get home, you'll sprint to your room and delete the comments. As you enter Instagram, a picture of a model during her beach vacation might show up in your feed. You'll observe your own post for the second time, and the more you stare, the larger you seem to get. You decide to delete the picture altogether. As you cry yourself to sleep, Your innocence will slowly be torn away until you're forced to lick your own wounds. Writing utensils. Suddenly, you are 17, and the demon inside your stomach will continue to claw away. And each time you vomit your meal, or stare at the Photoshop model in Teen Vogue, or you pinch your nose in desperation, it will claw harder. Your value is physical. Your value is physical. Your value is physical. Your value is physical. Until one day, you are nothing but an empty shell with a fainting hope, and you can no longer discern the beauty that was once inside, and the metal clip of your mathematics pen seems to be the only thing that can release it. The beauty streams out like a rainy Sunday afternoon. The clawing slows. You tell yourself that you are fine. You are not. One day, You will realize that your beauty is raw, chaotic, distinctive. It isn't determined by the red hearts or the number on your scale or the measurements of your waist. It's determined by the ways your eyes illuminate the room when you talk about a subject you love, by the smell of cardamom that transports you to your grandma's home, by the way your compliments make a stranger's day, by the handwritten letters you send your friends abroad, by the harvest season of your humble vegetable patch. One day, you will realize that the beauty was always there, waiting to be yours, waiting to be you, and the greatest failure of this world was convincing you it wasn't. Oh, what is terror but beauty?